Okay, getting ready to do some meal prep, so I thought, thought I would show you what I'm doing. For lunches, I'm going to be doing some copycat KFC bowls and some manicotti. For breakfast, some oatmeal packets that I'll be turning into oatmeal mug muffins, which I'm going to have one of those for breakfast today, so I will show you how to do that. For snacks and dessert, I'm going to do some candy apple salad, which I've never done before. I'm going to make a banana snack cake, and then I'm going to do some celery, celery with cream cheese and sprinkle that with some bagel seasoning. So this will be my meal prep today. So the first thing that I prepped because it takes the longest is some manicotti. This I'm going to have for lunches two days this week and plus have it for dinner Sunday night. So the first thing I'm doing here is cooking up the ground beef. So I'm using some 96% lean ground beef. And once that gets all browned up, I'm going to go ahead and drain off any fat that was left. And then I'm going to add in a quarter cup of onion and some garlic, minced garlic. So I'm just going to cook that for a little bit, remove that from the heat and let it cool. And now I'm going to combine 15 ounces of fat-free cottage cheese, the cooled ground beef, some Italian seasonings, one cup of fat-free mozzarella cheese, and a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese, one egg, and some salt and pepper. Now I have to tell you guys, I was supposed to put spinach in this and I completely forgot. I started my meal prep super early this morning, completely forgot, so it is missing the spinach. So I went ahead and mixed that up, put it into a Ziploc bag and cut the tip off. And the whole thought around this was it was going to squeeze right into the manicotti and I wouldn't have to cook the manicotti shells first. This did not look as easy as they did in the recipe that I had or sound made it sound as easy. Anyway, I kind of struggled with this. I ended up just scooping the mixture in there with my hands. It was not a pretty picture, but I got it done. I filled all 14 of the manicotti shells. Now on the bottom of a 13 by nine pan that I greased, I went ahead and spread a cup of marinara sauce in the bottom of that. And then I just put the manicotti shells right on top of that. And then I poured another cup of the spaghetti sauce or marinara sauce on top. And I just um, put some foil on there really tight, put it in a 375 degree oven and cooked it for 60 minutes. Once the 60 minutes was up, I went ahead and added on one more cup of the fat-free mozzarella cheese, let that melt a little bit, and here is the finished product. I didn't put it into my meal prep containers yet because it was so hot, but I'm going to put two of the manicotis in my meal prep, prep container and then put some green beans on the side, and this will also be dinner tonight. This manicotti recipe makes seven servings. You get two manicotis, and it's seven smart points for two of them. And while the manicotti was cooking, I went ahead and started a banana snack cake that I was making for the family to have for snacks this week. So I'm taking a box of the Pillsbury Sugar-Free Yellow Cake Mix. To that, I'm adding one teaspoon of baking soda. And then I'm using about one and a half teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. And then in place of the oil that's on the box, I'm going to go ahead and use a third of a cup of unsweetened applesauce and one cup of water and three eggs. And then to that, I'm gonna add in three bananas that I smashed up really well, and then I'm just gonna take my mixer and mix that all up. And this is also gonna go into a greased nine by 13 pan, and I went ahead and just put it in the oven with the manicotti because they could be at the same temperature, and it needs to cook for 40 minutes. And this is what it looks like when it came out of the oven. You guys, this is really super good. It's only three smart points a serving, and you can cut it up into 12 servings, and they're really good size servings. So while those two things were in the oven, I went ahead and prepped my other snack for the week, which is candy apple salad. I have never tried this before, but it looked super good when I was making it and did try a taste of it, and it is really good. So you want to take 32 ounces of plain non-fat Greek yogurt, have that in your bowl, to that, you want to add in one package of sugar-free cheesecake jello pudding. I'm assuming you could use any flavor you'd like for this, but it does call for the cheesecake one. Mix that up really well, and then add in 20 ounces of crushed pineapple. I did not drain this or anything. It didn't say that in the recipe. I also added in two apples that I had cored, peeled, and chopped up into small pieces and just mix that all together and I store it in the refrigerator. And I, like I said, I did try it and it tastes really good. I measured out six half cup servings for one smart point each serving. 
So my other lunch this week is going to be copycat KFC bowls. I've never actually had the original ones. I just saw these on Pinterest. They looked super yummy. So I just took a chance to try them. So first off, I'm going to make a cauliflower potato mash. So um, I took some cauliflower, about two cups of rice cauliflower, and went ahead and steamed that. While that was steaming, I took 24 ounces of baby potatoes and just boiled those on the stove. And now I'm going to put those together. And to that, I'm adding two tablespoons of, I can't believe it's not butter light and a quarter cup of fat-free half and half and I'm just going to take my immersion blender and blend that all up I did leave the peels on there I like to have kind of chunky potatoes and the other thing I have to prepare is the brown gravy so I have two packages of this brown gravy from Walmart and I'm just going to cook that up the way it calls so it's just two of these packets with two cups of water and it makes a gravy and you can have a quarter cup of this gravy for one smart point so now I'm going to go ahead and assemble my bowl so I'm putting a half of a cup of the cauliflower potato mash in the bottom of my bowl which is three smart points I'm going to top that with a third of a cup of corn that I steamed and then on top of that, I'm adding on some of this diced cooked chicken breast for zero smart points. And then I'm topping it off with a quarter cup of the brown gravy for one smart point. So this entire KFC bowl is going to be four smart points. And it looks amazing. I feel like the ultimate comfort food with the weather I'm having here, I think it's going to be a great, great lunch. So I've been really craving oatmeal, so I decided to make up some instant oatmeal packets so I can just throw those in my purse and just take them to work if I don't have time to make breakfast. So to each of my bags here, I'm adding in a half of a cup of these quick oats for four smart points. And then for a little bit extra fiber, I'm adding in a half of a tablespoon of ground flaxseed for one smart point. And for a little sweetness, I'm going to add in two and a half teaspoons of Trevia brown sugar for one smart point. And then I'm going to add on some cinnamon just for some flavor. And then I'm going to do something different for all four of these. So one of them, I'm going to add in some PB2 or powdered peanut butter. So I'm just doing two tablespoons of powdered peanut butter to one of them. To the other one, I'm going to add in some of this freeze dried fruit. I have apple cinnamon and strawberries. And lastly, to the other one, I'm going to add in some reduced sugar craisins. I'm doing one tablespoon of those for one smart point. And these also make a really good oatmeal mug muffin, which I'm going to show you how I make that right now. So to make your oatmeal mug muffin, you want to take one of your instant oatmeal packs and put it into a mug that is a little bit larger. To that, you want to add in one egg and then a quarter cup of either mashed banana or applesauce. And you also want to add in a half of a teaspoon of baking powder. And then you want to stir that up really well and just let it sit on your counter for at least 10 minutes. But they say you can also put it in the refrigerator for up to 24 hours. This just makes it a little bit fluffier and lets it rise really well. And then once you have let it sit, I let mine sit out for about an hour while I was doing the rest of my meal prep. And I went ahead and put it in the microwave for 60 seconds, and then I checked it. It still needed to go a little bit longer, so I did another 30 seconds. So it took about 90 seconds total. So here is the finished oatmeal mug muffin. I used the PB2 one, so this muffin would be eight smart points, which is kind of high. And these don't always keep me completely full. So I do like to pair them with some scrambled eggs for an additional zero smart points or some plain nonfat Greek yogurt again for zero smart points. So you can really make it into a nice hearty breakfast if you want something quick and easy. And you can also just do this at work. But I really love these oatmeal mug muffins. And the last snack that I put together was just some celery that I put one tablespoon of a cream cheese inside of it and then just sprinkle some everything but the bagel seasoning on top. These just have so much flavor. It's just a simple, super simple little snack, but it is just packed with flavor because of that bagel seasoning. So highly recommend this little snack. So there you go, guys. There is everything that I prepped this week. I am really excited for this week's meals. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and please subscribe if you have not already done so and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload videos and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.